what is up my youtube family we're back again with another one coming back with uh another one from upchurch the kelly rodney case no answer no proof or anything and false info that's all so this is going to be a little bit different i i watched a little bit of this video and he it went in detail about some things so we're going to look we're going to watch this we're going to give her input through it and we're going to give her input a little after it so let's go ahead without further ado guys love yourself like yourself be nothing but yourself like subscribe to the channel it's highly appreciated without further ado guys let's continue we're going to be for for finding um, kylie and that was continually the goal i think it comes down to uh, lots of factors and like i said we're going to debrief and try to figure out how do we become better and and do a, a better job at you know these types of operations. Why did agencies believe it was an abduction at first? I think that you can never take that off the table. And so as we talked as a command group and, and unified command with all my partners that you see behind us, uh, you couldn't remove that off the table because we hadn't found her. And so, you know, that was some of the struggles with some of the services that we wanted to obtain and, and things we wanted to do. But we couldn't say it wasn't an abduction, but we also never said that it was an abduction. I think that was clarified. Uh, fairly early on, um, but we also probably wouldn't have received all the services and all the people if that wasn't an option. Did any of the juveniles, anybody mention a car going over the side, a car in the water, out of all those? I don't believe that that statement was made, not to my knowledge. Was there any indication? See, that's what I don't understand. If her car went off in the water, there was a party there, there was people there. Why wasn't it seen? Why wasn't it heard? See, there's so many still questions to this case that just doesn't add up. So my question that is, is was there anyone else in the car? Anyways, guys, let's see what they have to say. That's still being investigated. If, if we'd like, we could turn it over for CHP can give some information. Uh, they are conducting the accident investigation, utilizing their make team. Good morning, uh, Josh Ellers, Assistant Chief with CHP Valley Division based in Sacramento, which Truckee's a part of. Um, I can't confirm that our department is conducting a fatality traffic collision investigation. We're harnessing all of our resources, working with all of our partners here, um, as you see. We're utilizing our mate team, our multidisciplinary accident investigation team, to harness more data from the vehicle that was recovered. We're also, we've utilized all of our air resources to map and video and take photographs of the area in question. and. That's currently ongoing, so I, I can't comment on the nature and details of that investigation, but I certainly appreciate all the partnership that we have here with our... See, and another thing about this whole thing is, is we had her car in the water. Where's the tire... Was there any tire marks it going down to the water? Because one way or another, whether it was on the sand or whether it was on the grass... There would have been tire marks. And we know that the grass or the it was sand on the one side it went off of. And we noticed whenever they was bringing out the car and putting it on the, uh, the truck, it left tire marks in it on the sand. So where's the tire marks at going in? So my whole thing about this thing was, was you tell me that they're going to be driving down there. They're going to find this car. And they're just going to drive all over the sand because they can't see any tire marks and just cover them up. That was my question about the whole thing. Anyways, guys, let's continue to see what they have to say. Local county and state partners will continue to assist in any overarching way that we can as an agency. So certainly crisscross and a lot of extensive movement in that area continually throughout this time of year. Is there any suspicion that it could have been another car who this car or was it a one person car situation? I don't have that information that I could comment on at this time. Um, what I can't tell you is we'll do a thorough investigation. We'll take every bit and piece of information that we have, including what's already been provided to us, and we'll reach some conclusions that will be provided to the parties of interest at that time. And the, the vehicle is uh, taken down. The FBI has offered up assistance and are going to be uh, helping to conduct investigation regarding the, the vehicle itself. and. Um, making sure that we don't miss something that, that may be in there that we're not aware of. Even though once you find the answer, on hindsight, everything looks 2020. The reality is, is it's not that simple. It is pretty complex. Was there more than one body in the vehicle? No, there was not more than one body in the vehicle. What? And so my question, do you see how long he took to answer that question? 
he took a good two to three seconds like he had to think about that question now if you knew there wasn't another body in that car why'd you have to think about it because you know if the shoe was on the other foot and that was a, a, a villi- if that was somebody inside a jail house jail cell excuse me i got stuttered if you was inside of a jail cell and you t- said that took a minute they would have said that you was probably they would have questioned you even more at that point was my whole point of that so this guy took like two seconds to answer see this whole case doesn't add up anyways you have the party then you you have her car going mysteriously off in the water what happened how did it get in the water I know they're going to tell us that, but where's the tire marks in the sand? It makes no sense. Anyways, guys, let's continue to see what they have to say. There likely could have been tire tracks or some type of signal that a car did go into the water there. Uh, Did rain impact that? Did this heavy activity in the area impede seeing those signs? I think everything's a factor, but again, that's where we rely on the the mate team from CHP to come in with their expertise and be able to provide some of those answers. At this time, can you tell if there are any signs of foul play? At this time, we're not going to be able to say anything like that. It's it's been said that people were drinking at the party that night. Was anything found in the car that could lead you to believe that uh, she was drinking that night? Was the person found once? Yeah, the investigation's ongoing, so we're not going to be able to comment on that. Do you have any theories as to how the car got in the water and also what gear was the car found in? I seen on YouTube not too long ago, I was watching a documentary. I came past and there was a YouTuber, I don't remember the name, but I should have took the screenshot of this guy's name. He had all on his documentary he said that Cali Rodney was drinking alcohol and everything else. So now they're saying no, that's an on best, ongoing investigation. So I'm going with them here that no, it's an on, ongoing investigation about the alcohol. So it was kind of weird because you have these creators that's actually just either putting a video together and adding their voice, like maybe four or five parts, or you have people that is just adding a video and adding their channel name for subscribers. So, I don't know, it's just really weird, you know, on YouTube, because I never noticed YouTube to just, uh, you put a video on and just put your name by it and just let it play without some kind of narrative behind it or something. Anyways, guys, let's continue to see what they have to say. I think if I make up theories, then I'm just guessing and I'm going to lead us back into a trail that's not certain. So we'll wait until we have those facts and details. And as far as the car, we're not going to release any information until we've done a, a solid investigation on it. Uh, none of us were aware of an initial, so we tasked the investigative sergeant with contacting them and reaching out. So I believe, best I know, we did that proactively on our end. And they contacted the family? I think there's still some sketchy details on, on exactly how that contact went out, um, so I don't want to speak on behalf of the family. All right, so look, I was getting frustrated. I was like, dude, fuck it. I'm going back to the fucking beginning. I'm going to go over this whole entire case again. I get like three-fourths away through the video. I see something pop up in, in related searches about some lady named Ann Hatch. I get to looking into it. It takes me about, I don't know, 10 minutes. All this stuff is fucking bullshit. Yeah, you heard me right. All this shit is bullshit. All of it. It's all bullshit. Show me one thing that's real. You can't. There ain't one. You know why you can't find nothing on anybody? Because nobody's who they say they are. You know all these crazy leads we all been getting and then it's just a fucking deep rabbit hole full of fucking question marks and... Especially the internet. The internet in general. Have you ever noticed when you type in the internet or you type in a URL or you type in on Google or anything like that, when you type in, it, it'll take you to 50,000 different sites and then you have to unless you make it pacific you'll have to go down and scroll and see what you want so if you type in like uh t-mobiles it's going to pull up 50 different t-mobiles even though you put what 
state you wanted it in. So that's kind of what Church is talking about here is whenever he typed it in, all this stuff popped up, the name. So because if there's more than one name, you know it's going to pop up anyways. So anyways, guys, let's see what Church has to say. Trails to other fucking bullshit rabbit holes because they're supposed to be bullshit rabbit holes. You know how these people on the internet, these YouTubers like the Ichmael guy, the Xanime, and the Ronnie Jones dude and all these people, do you know why they don't care to tell you, oh yeah, well, uh, my friend was at the party and had cocaine. You know why she don't care to fucking canoe in the lake? Because there ain't no fucking dead girl, bruh. There ain't. You notice since the beginning, it's been like a fucking reality show with all these people calling in and popping up and I have information and, uh, uh, well, your information looks sketchy. No, it's not. Oh, he's crazy for calling her information sketchy. You see this big fucked up dumb pyramid? They're doing it on purpose. And back to the canoeing with Zana Mae. You know, Zana Mae went out there with her canoe and her dog. And she literally put her canoe in this water. Went out in her canoe with her dog. Then she went and she deleted it. And then she re-uploaded the second one. And then re-uploaded the other one. So, yes, this woman, Zana Mae, went out there after she came up missing. Because she wanted to go out there and see it. And put her canoe in the water, evidently. That's what she did. Now, I don't know how far of a drive it would have been. But if you want to think about narrative and destination, who's going to drive, you know, 200 miles to go to a place where something happened at? You see what I'm saying? But then again, if you lived 300 miles... And you had, you know, 75,000 subs or even more. And you know you're going to get them views out of it. Then so far, just drive it. Go to it. She had 300 and some odd subscribers at that time. So it all depends on how far it was, whether it was worth it, I guess. Because all you did was went out and put your canoe in. And Church has got a point. Right after she come up missing, she went out there. Anyways, guys, let's continue to see what Church has to say. The reason they're sticking their fucking neck out there is because there is no actual crime. The only crime that, that is going on is a fucking a scam to get GoFundMe money. Yes, this is the new, hello, I, are you a great fan of mine on Facebook? Yeah. This is the fucking YouTube version. The Ann Hesh lady, the video everybody's freaking out about where, where the person raises up when they're putting them in the ambulance and everybody's like, yo, what the fuck, look at this video. That ain't real. Look at the video. There's no cops anywhere. That is not Ellen's ex. I don't know where the fuck. I don't know how. So was that supposed to be real? See, I don't know if that was supposed to be real or not. But there wasn't no cops nowhere. It almost looked like a whole block that was just houses empty. It was like five or six fire trucks parked in the middle of the road. That's what it looked like to me. But you're right, it didn't have any cops. There's stuff like that they show all the time. And you just don't know what it is. And then you get, you get your mind running and you just still don't know what it is. So... I got that question. Was that a real commercial or was that a real emergency that they was filming? Anyways, guys, let's see what church has to say. How there's all these links saying that's, that's what it is, but it ain't. There's no fucking proof of this lady anywhere dating Ellen. There's no video of them together. It is fake. Go look for yourself. Yeah, this lady runs into a fucking house. No video of this wreck. <laughs> she don't date Ellen. And there's a bunch of imposter bullshit thrown together news sites on the internet that's pushing the shit and being like, hit the GoFundMe. Yeah, that's all this is, bro. That's all this is. That's all the Kylie Rodney thing is. I mean, I mean, dude, th this makes the press conference make so much sense now. There's a reason why they can't give us no answers. 
No party pictures. Just some bullshit Photoshop party pictures. With what? With none of the people in the pictures. Why do you think when the police said, hey, we found the car in Kylie's body and, and Sammy got on Instagram and was like, no, they didn't, because they didn't. There ain't nobody. There ain't no Kylie Rodney. It's bullshit. It's fake. Why do you think nobody's seen the Kylie Rodney girl? Why do you think all these Photoshop pictures of the party have nobody in them that's point of interest? Where do you think Ronnie came from? If you switch around the letters to the name Kylie Rodney, the way they spell it, it comes out as I killed Ronnie. They designed this shit to make motherfuckers look crazy and drive their self crazy. What does it come out as? Let's go back on that. I think you said it comes out of as I killed Ronnie. Why you think nobody's seen the Kylie Rodney girl? Why you think all these Photoshop pictures of the party have nobody in them that's point of interest? Where you think Ronnie came from? If you switch around the letters to the name Kylie Rodney, the way they spell it, it comes out as I killed I killed Ronnie. Okay, Ronnie was the black guy that was in the army that Xana Mae was actually protecting. So that is Ronnie. So, and it comes out as that. Isn't this weird? Isn't it, isn't it weird how your brain, you know, reacts to some things at some times? And, and then you decode stuff and you see stuff like this. Isn't that just weird? Anyways, guys, let's continue to see what Church has to say. Ronnie, they designed this shit to make motherfuckers look crazy and drive their self crazy. And while they're all going in different directions with different leads and... And this is why they make their self look completely guilty. And, and they're like, oh, what? I wouldn't do anything. Yeah, because they really wasn't doing anything. They, they're not going to get in trouble for murder or nothing. Because there's, no, there's, there's nothing to be committed murder on. Yesterday, I traced that lady's name, Angela Mausoleum, back to some fucking chop shops. Where do you think they got the car? That's why when I ran the plate on Ronnie Jones's shit, it came back. No one. That's why when I ran the tag on Kylie Rodney's car, it came back, no one. It's because same person put the same tag on the car. You ever notice how there's no actual picture with the Kylie girl and her CRV? There ain't one. They don't exist. When the Angela Mausoleum girl was like, call this number and, and look for this hoodie. It was a bullshit lead and a fucking bullshit tip line. I looked up her name and noticed, oh, what do you know? She's a cop and she works for some fucking news company. I looked up the news company. The news company's bullshit. On Google Earth, it's got a fucking green screened image put on a sign to some bullshit building. If you look on the building, it has a police badge on it and a number. When you type the number into Google and click fucking enter, it says impact 911. You go to that address and it's a chop shop where they got a, 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 a fucking hundreds of different kinds of cars you could just fake deaths with all day how can you fake a death so hold on so church is saying that he put in an address with the tags of her vehicle tag numbers off her vehicle and it led back to a chop shop basically out in the middle of nowhere well, in a town, in a city, and there's a bunch of buildings around it. So do you realize how uncomfortable that would make you feel at that time? You put in the tag number, and it comes back to a chop shop. Anyways, guys, let's see what else he has to say. Death. I mean, well, fuck, dude, if you're the police, I mean, shit, I mean, hello, you can make some bullshit documents, get a bullshit car, fucking get a bullshit tag, make a bullshit profile with a bullshit person, fucking, I don't know, fucking get rid of the car and be like, fuck, dude, this person's missing, we gotta find them, go fund me, F free money, hello. So here's the lady that's gone, this is the hoodie they told us to look for, it's a bullshit hoodie, here's the tip line, right? 530-581-6320. This is a bullshit number. Look, now this is the only thing that comes up is these three things. 
yesterday when I screen recorded it, look what came up. These are gone now. But your boy screen recorded it. Look what it looked like the other day. When I typed that number in yesterday, look how much shit popped up. Look what it says. If you know them, it's time for the truth. Fashion Isha. Whatever the fuck that means. Sheriff Investigations California. <laughs> what? Like, it's bullshit. Look, and when you take this address, 2501 North Lake Boulevard, all right, it is a fake police department, fam. I'm not even lying. Look. All right, so you see this address? Watch this. Go over to Google Earth. Go to Google Earth. More recent searches. 2501 North Lake Boulevard. Click. Watch this. Dude. Look what that says. Placer County Superior Court. Watch this. <clears throat> what in the fuck is this? This ain't no damn sheriff's department, bro. When I type in Placer County Sheriff's Department. <clears throat> Look at all these different ones. Placer County Sheriff's Office. Placer County Sheriff. So, Church typed in the tag numbers or an address to a chop shop, which first he put in the tag number off of her car, and it would come back to a chop shop. So he got that address, and he called, put it in the computer, the address, and it brought him to this place, which is a chop shop. So, this place is out in the middle of nowhere. I'm blown away right here because there shouldn't be a chop shop out like this. And what else could it be? Anyways, guys, let's see what the church has to say. Sheriff's office. Oh, look. That's the real place your sheriff's office. This is the bullshit place your sheriff's office. There is a fake sheriff's office, bro. What the fuck? There's the real one. Obviously. But wait, there's more Placer County Sheriff's places. Ah, yes. Placer County Sheriff's Office. This house. Ah, yes. There's lots of Placer County Sheriff's Departments. They're everywhere. There's another Placer County Sheriff's Department here. Look at all these Placer County Sheriff's Departments, bruh. Like, what in the fuck is going... What is this? And then back to this fake-ass one in the middle of nowhere. And the scary thing is, there's actually fucking cop cars at them. <laughs> Type in Placer County Sheriff's Office. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. There's the real one, and there's the real numbers. Hell, it's even got a non-emergency number. So, when you put in that address that he got, and you put it in, it comes back to all those different places, which comes back as all sheriff off sheriff's office. So, why do they come back to all sheriff's office? And there's old cars that looks like it's out back, old white cars that looked like there was like 10 of them. See, the thing about it is, is the internet is a very weird place. We all know that. You can you would type in one thing and get something you don't even want. But 
he's familiar with the internet. So when you type in an address on Google Earth, we all know we put it in and then you just can't go and it basically takes you there. You put in the state, the zip, whatever else, and it takes you there. Google Earth gives you a picture of the place just like we've seen. You know, I don't know. That's weird. Anyways, guys, let's see what Church has to say. The mausoleum lady had a, was, was, was hanging around and fucking with a, a fake sheriff's department, it seems like. All right, so you know the Angela lady? Angela Musalem. You're a fucking detective, a PI, a fucking sheriff, and you work for like three different news companies. All right, so if you go to the news company she worked for, what was it called? Fox 40. Look at this. Click Fox 40. All right. You go out front. Here's the building, right? Quick street view. Look at the front of this fucking place. There ain't nothing indicating that it's an actual news thing until you get to this bull. And look at the building. Look at the building. This building is an older building. You, you could tell that. And it says Fox 40. Anyways, guys, let's see what he has to say. Bullshit, fucking edited, green screened on. I mean, it's, it, it's fake, obviously. I mean, look at it. Hello. But look, when you go around the block. This is fucking crazy. Click right here. What they got backed up right here. Oh, what do you know? A silver Honda CRV. Backed all the way up so you can't see the fucking tag plate. And you go outside the gate to look at if there's like any numbers or anything, you know? Look right here. You zoom in and what do you get? 916-640-0101. And you click it. Impact 911. I was like, impact 911. Impact like a car crash and then 911. Okay, that's kind of weird. So I took it and went to Google Earth, put that in the search bar. Click, look where it goes. A dirty ass fucking chop shop area. What do you know? Look at all these fucking cars. So now we're at a chop shop. So why why is some of them coming back as sheriff's offices? There's like five of them that come back as sheriff's office. And this one's back to a chop shop. When we began, when, when Church began this search, he put in a tag number or a phone number. And it led his it led him here to a chop shop. And it looks like there's old cars out back that well look like old cop cars to me. So why is there all these sheriff office offices around, shall I say? It'll pique your interest for sure. Anyways, guys, let's continue. Cop cars. What are these cop cars doing here, bro? Look at this. Look at all this fucking equipment. Trucks. A fucking shit yard across the street. You go over here, this ain't shit but a place with a bunch of junk cars and containers. And look, you just got these hidden cop cars. Because this is supposed to be a security company. And it's not. There's no indication of a security company anywhere on this entire block. I already looked. So, yep. I'm done with this true crime shit. This is why Sammy and Megs and all them, this is why they have no emotion interacting with her. I mean, it's kind of hard to, you know, act like you know somebody that doesn't fucking exist. This is why we have no answers. This is why the tag plates don't match up. This is why the car was placed there after. This is why, this is why everything. This is why nothing makes sense. It's a scam to get fucking GoFundMe money or something. And that's about it. So, yeah, I'm going back to my regular life of doing cool shit and fucking 
you know, being a musician. I'm done with internet crime stuff. I'm not interested anymore. So, church found... Why did you just lie and say that... I church found like five or six different sheriff's offices. And then he turns around and he finds a chop shop that has a bunch of white cars by it. Now, why, when you put in an address, we all know it takes you someplace. So when you put in this address, why does it take you to sheriff's offices, five different ones, and one's a news building, and then you put in another address, and it take, it's the same address you put in, but it took you to the back side of the building, and then you double check it to see if it's the right number, and then you go to Google Earth, put in the address, and it takes you there, and it's a chop shop. Which is weird to me. And, and back to uh, Kylie Rodney's friend, Sammy. That girl was weird from the beginning. She was only a partying friend. I mean, it was in messages, her mom said. Say, we had a... a all American Dream Chaser actually had a uh, set down with her Sammy, and she said that the reason why they was only partying friends. Well, Sammy became the person that came along with and through her, or become overcharged quote of her missing. So you're telling me a partying friend, only a partying friend, not a best friend, is going to just come out and take charge? Where's the mom at? Where's the dad at? Why ain't they in charge of this thing? There's so many questions that you have to ask about this case, guys. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get off here, guys. Love yourself, like yourself, be nothing but yourself. Like, subscribe to the channel. It's highly appreciated. Your boy Deuce is gone. Love you guys. Peace. I'm out.